Hi and welcome to my channel, my name is Magnus and today we're going to unbox the Cisco C9500-16X-A. So let's start. So first off, let's see what we get in here. I, sh I will show you a close up. So this is what you get in the box right away. This is uh, rack mounts. And then we have some cables. Keep in mind. Keep in mind, we have this hole. Let's see if this is mandatory. A lot of new Cisco switches apparently use this. So it's uh, a bit trickier to find power cables. So let's remove this. We don't need this for now. And here we do have Cisco smart account. So Cisco have started with something called smart account and this is network stack advantage this is dna advantage so i think it's good to keep this but i don't really know you, i i bet you can add it in a different way but um, just don't throw away it and then we have some i don't know trash And the switch is white. I'll give you one more. So this is how it looks. The packaging, white, not black as the bigger models. So let's remove this. This one actually stuck. I need to be somewhat careful with this because I'm actually going to send it away to a different office. So let's see. So here we go. So this is the switch. It looks quite nice. And this is something new. This is an RFID tag. So I bet you can do inventory or similar. I will need to read up on that and uh, maybe check on a different video. I'm not sure. This is the front of the switch. And as you can see, you have 16 ports. So it's one to 16. Then you actually have a expansion module. So you do like this, you press this. This little flare pops out, take it out. This is just a metal bracket. And here you have an expansion module. And I believe there is 10, 25, maybe even 40 gig uh, modules for this one. On the other side, so here you do have the console cable. One is blue, it's for console. And I guess this is a dedicated management port. Here is also console. And just a normal USB. This is the RFID I did talk about or mentioned. It, I believe that you can do like inventory. Um, so this will show up and it will be easier to do inventory in the data center. But that's just my, my thought about it. On the back side, you do have two power supplies, one on each side. And it's, you can take it out. 
On the power supply, you see the, the airflow. This is the airflow, the arrow. So the airflow is from the front where the port is until the back. So not same as the Nexus switches, but uh, this is not a data center switch, so to say. This is an office switch. And this specific model is uh, 950 watts. So it's quite powerful. And of course you have two of them. And as I mentioned the cables before, you see here, I don't know if you see, but you have this little plastic thing there. So you need the type of power cables that I showed you before. And so this is something new that I haven't seen before. It's actually a warning label for the fans. So I find that quite interesting, but here is the fans and you can remove them. And they are two, I believe it's 40 millimeters fan. So I bet they will sound a lot. And here is the, for the LED, the light. I will power it up later. This one, I'm not sure. It doesn't look like a stack, or maybe it's a stack module. No, I know what this is. I bet this is for the USB. So let's power this bad boy up. Let's see how much it sounds. Yeah. All right, I will show you. It actually doesn't sound so much. Normally Nexus sounds a lot more. But as I said, this is based for, uh, for campus, for uh, local area networks, offices, or like hospitals or whatever. But uh, bigger corporations where you need distribution or a core switch, and then this could be a good one. So the switch is actually booting. So you can see some LEDs. See, fan, and you have power, meaning we only have one power slot. And I bet if we put in a secondary one, this will be green. So that's a, that's a good way to see if it's uh, working or correctly or not. Let's turn this around. So here, you see it's blinking yellow because it's not connected. Everything is green. Even the status bar on this, um, on this power supply. And if we remove this, the rest of the fan speeds up a little, little bit. I'm not sure how many you can pull out. I wouldn't recommend to do it like this. Take one at a time. But it's quite nice. It oozes quality. And as I said before, this one, the RFID, is for inventory management within the data center. I will put up a slide here. So you can see what more functions the 9000 series does actually have. Keep in mind when you buy the 9000 series, you need to buy licenses to it. And you need to pick from start if it will, will be an advance or if it will be an essential. As you can see on the switch, there's no stack cable so why are these good well in the 9500 series you have something called stack wise virtual it's very similar to uh, uh, the vss so you can have stacked switches
switches, these ones, on different locations. So you don't need to have a dedicated stack cable like, uh, like we did have in the 9300 series. This can be more further apart, so you can have them in different buildings and still have stacking. This is why it's a good replacement for the 3800 or 6800 that has similar functionality. Who is this switch actually for? Well, this is considered like a distribution or a core switch. So it's a replacement for the 3800 or the 6800. And the 9500 is fixed ports. You can have this expansion model that we did talk about and it's for 40 gig. So either it's 8, 10 gigabit SFP plus or it's 2, 40 gigs. So this is the direct replacement for the like 3850 or 6850 with fixed ports. There is a bigger version of this called the 9600 and that's with line cards where you can plug in different modules. There is more types of uh, 9500s uh, depending on which port density you want to have but this is as I said a fixed version. I hope you did enjoy this video and if you did like it please like and subscribe it would uh, mean a lot to me and I see you in the next one. Take care. Bye.